We've been following the ongoing investigation into the state prison system the outside of Glen Glenville. And tonight we're hearing for the first time from the person in charge of the entire Georgia prison system. Earlier this week, Bureau Chief Dale Kennedy brought us claims from a prison employee about what's going on there. Tonight we asked what's being done. With claims and concerns continuing to surround Smith State Prison, we took our questions to the commissioner of the Georgia Department of Corrections. The head of Georgia's state prison system believes the firing and arrest of former warden Brian Adams deals a major blow to a contraband operation inside the prison. We do not believe that there were, there's other people involved um, as of right now. Um, of course, you know, that's always something to change as this investigation continues. A prison employee spoke to me anonymously about what they said was a rampant stream of contraband coming in and being used by inmates as rewards for crimes inside the prison. And be able to fly that drone carrying contraband and drop it off like it's Amazon or something. Um, have you all been investigating into that? I wouldn't be surprised if that's happening. Um, you know, we really got to work with our with our federal partners to ensure that we can, you know, have some technology there to help us combat some of this stuff. The employee told us that their attempts to report the problems went nowhere. Commissioner Oliver says correction staff members can take concerns all the way up to him to get Smith or other prisons back on track. We are not going to allow um, these inmates to run these prisons anymore. He says they're also aggressively recruiting more officers to turn the tide and make staff members feel safer. And we'll continue to follow this story and we'll bring you any new developments. In Tattnall County, Dow Kennedy, WTOC News. Now the former warden, Brian Adams, remains free on bond after his arrest. You can view our previous stories on the investigations into the prison on our website, WTOC.com.